Hey tubers, me again. So, I've been, there's a guy that came in, came in on the comments on another video, and um, he's saying that, I think it's like an SRM 225, it's a weed whacker or whatever, but um, anybody that works with the two strokes and stuff, um, you've seen it before, uh, that the air filter will be like really wet with uh, fuel and that the engine it's just it's bogging down so I'm trying to I'm just gonna go through and explain with all my highly sophisticated drawings here and then I also tore apart a, a CS310 to actually show you What's happening? Why fuel is the the mist is actually coming out the carburetor, uh, and then usually it'll collect up into that that air filter. So here is the what do you call it? Like the symptom. It's like fuel mist is coming out of the carb, and the air filter is wet from from the fuel. So this is this is on a two stroke, okay. And the way that I that I do my exact precise drawings, and then I'm gonna I'll show you on here, and then I'll move over, and then I'll show you what's going on uh, with the jug and the piston. Um, when the the engine is in operation, let me show you here. Here's the here's where the carburetor attaches, okay, and then this is the exhaust port. And think of, just think of the engine as a pump and that it only flows one way. So air and fuel comes in through this, okay? It never actually goes up into the combustion chamber. It all comes down and it, it goes into uh, the crankcase, okay? And then through the side ports, when the piston comes down, the, that would actually be like this one over here. After it fires, the piston comes down. It recharges uh, the combustion chamber with fresh fuel and air mixture that's, that's been sucked into the, the crankcase. And so if you look at this, let me turn on this light. Whoops. Torch. Torch on. Okay. So looking looking straight down, you see there's a spark plug hole. That's the cylinder. These are the side ports where the fresh fuel travels. On this side and on this side. They go up and they get they get they get on top of the piston. Then the piston does its thing, it compresses it, and then it fires, and then by timing, which is, if you look at this picture, that this exhaust port is higher, it's the very, it's, it's higher than the side ports. It's higher than these. So after, so after ignition, when the piston, the piston is coming down, that's the first place that this exploded fuel has a chance to, to exit. And so it'll, it goes out the exhaust. <clears throat> normal, op, normal operation is that it's free and clear. There's no carbon buildup. There's no, the, the screen is not clogged. The, it's just a free flow of evacuating from the, the combustion chamber. It goes out the exhaust. Now the new, the new gas is gonna come in it also, that's called scavenging. It also helps to take and push out the exhaust, and then it just keeps on, it just keeps on repeating itself. The piston goes down, it pushes the fuel back up inside. The piston is now traveling up again. It closes off the exhaust port. Uh, it's, it's, the fuel mixture has been compressed, and now it's extremely volatile, just waiting for the ignition to go, and then it exhausts. <clears throat> so how does it how does it get from here 
if there's never if it if it never lines up with um, the intake, you're saying like, well, how does it how does it make the fuel mist coming out this way? This is what this is what the the symptom is, what the problem is. I'm doing this through the camera, you guys. So like, there's the air filter. If you take the air filter off and you're running it, and you see this, well, there's two things. One is I took the ring off of here. But the rings, this piston is actually in like really good shape. But the rings on this uh, is the sacrificial part. This, as it, as it sits there and it, and it goes up and down, up and down, even with good lubrication and everything, is that the outside of these is going gonna, is gonna to wear. <clears throat> when it wears, it naturally makes... Obviously, like it gets in there, it's set up like this. So you compress the ring, it goes tight like that. As it wears, they're going to open up. That gives more, uh, during the compression stroke, for more um, the fuel and the air to leak by there. So let's just say that it's, when it's brand new, you got a hun you got 150 PSI. Uh, compression on a brand new engine yeah you run it for a year or two or whatever and it drops down to like 110 it's still enough to make it run but it's these things are doing its job as long as there's no scoring in the cylinder to you know to make it so now you got to replace the the cylinder and the and the rings if everything is good all you got to do is replace this okay so the symptom is is that if you're just getting excessive ring wear over time, and it's a good saw, you've had it for a while, but now you're noticing that this is happening, it's because it can be a couple of things. One is that the machine is just getting older, the rings are getting worn, and that when it compresses, that that um, a, part, a portion of the volume of uh, compressed air is going back into this crankcase, when the piston is is up, now it has the opportunity because it's pressurizing the crankcase. It's actually trying to take and push it. It's actually taking and trying to push the air back out through the carburetor. And of course, you know, this thing is happening really, really fast. So it's taking in, it's, it's pushing the mist out there. And then as soon as this goes back down, now the flow goes back this way. So basically what's happening is like the air is going, it's going out, it's going in, it's going out, it's going in. When it pressurizes this crankcase, it's also uh, putting pressure on the seals. So you could end up with a leak coming out of here by these seals. It's just, and again, these are sacrificial parts you take and you buy a new one you slap it on there you put it back in and it's and it's ready to go the other thing and the more common of why why the fuel is coming out is because after ignition and the piston is traveling down and it goes to that port right there for the exhaust is like now you have carbon buildup. Let's see, there's not much in here, but they all do it. They get carbon buildup on there and it starts to close that down. If you look all the way across over there, you can see that's the, those are the intake ports. And those are lower, even with my shaky camera, those are lower than the exhaust. If that is clogged, if this is clogged, you've seen that in other videos that I've done. If that port is clogged with carbon or the screen is clogged with carbon and that gas can't get out while it's, don't forget, it just exploded and it's pressurized. So as that piston travels down just a little bit more, it's going to take and it's going to, now the pressure is going inside 
the intake port. The pressure is now traveling back out through here. It gets into the it gets into the crankcase, and again, now because it has this opening, it has the opportunity to go back out through the carburetor. Because on the previous stroke, uh, when it when it was going up, when it goes up, it's sucking fuel in this way, and then now because it happens so fast. It's taking that same fuel that didn't make it down into the crankcase, and it's pushing it back right into that um, that air filter. And if you and if you get that far in your um, diagnosis, and you run it without that filter there, you'll see that the pressure is now going out this way, and it's pushing the mist out through the carburetor. So you got you got two. You got two scenarios, excessive ring wear, which is, and there's always going to be some blow by guys. There's always going to be a little bit that makes it by. It's a little bit better if you have uh, two rings, you know, on your piston instead of just one. Um, that helps. This is from a four cycle, but these guys, you know, these are like compression rings, scraper rings, oil rings. It's a little bit different setup, but... Anyways, that's what's happening. The rings, and you can go and you can just buy the rings. You can put them in there. It's not it's not terribly difficult. But that's what's happening. It's blowing by the rings where that port is clogged. That port right there, the exhaust port is clogged. And now it's coming back. The pressure is coming back into the crankcase through the the intake ports. I hope that helps you understand what's going on. Um, leave a comment. I'm just a blitherer. Anyways, okay, guys. Um, that's it. I'm done. Hope it helps. I'm out.